Thanks for joining me in Hutchies Man Minute. Get pumped. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to another installment of Hutchies Mad Minute. Ladies in particular, have I got a treat for you. Unfortunately, he's off the market, Luke Osman. Welcome, Luke. Thanks, Paul. Thanks for joining me, mate, on Hutchies Mad Minute. No problem. Mate, Duff, first of all, congratulations on the uh, engagement to the beautiful Tegan Griffiths. We're all still amazed that she actually said yes. You must have asked her at a really vulnerable point of the trip. I did, I got a dose stuff on a lot of Disneyland. Uh, at that point, she couldn't say no to anything. She was happy. <laughs> nice, mate, well done. Thanks. So how did you pop the question? Uh, it's not, not a big romantic story like everyone would like to think. We were just back in the hotel room and had a really good day and I just sort of showed her a picture of the ring on the phone and said, we marry me. On the phone? Yep, on the wow. phone. Wow. I couldn't afford to have it insured, so. <laughs> you know, nice, mate, well done. With me. Thank you. Mate, generally when I get home from training sessions, I'm, I'm sore, I'm looking at the arms, I've got scratches, I've got new bruises. Mate, have you caught any fouls at training this year? Yes, but only when guys lost their arms. Nice, yep. nice. Okay. I'd, uh, I would say you are the, the best defensive player in the squad, hand down. Um, but it's because I foul everyone. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, people don't realise how good a scorer, in particular you were in your uh, junior days. Have you been in Dan's ear about running some plays for you to get some shots up? No, no, mate. I'm all about the team now. As long as, as long as we get wins, I'm happy. Well, we're not winning, mate. Guess I need to get some more shots up then. There you go. Mate, you're, uh, you've been an assistant coach with the Stingrays under 14, 14 boys. Yes. Yeah. Any future stars we should keep a close eye on? Uh, there are a couple in that team, but at the moment we're, we're a work in progress and they're, they're doing their best at the moment. So. Originally we thought you were there coaching and keeping an eye on the MILFs, the mums, mate, but uh, clearly that's not the... Uh, that's not, what's not, going on. not on the agenda. No. <laughs> Uh, did you ask uh, Tegan to sign a prenup? No. No? <laughs> She's going to end up making more money than me, so... Oh, uh, no, she might have made a lot of money. There you go. <laughs> mate, Stingray, Stingray uh, teammate question time. I want yep. you to put uh, one of the boys in the category. Obviously, the first one, I've been saying all the boys can't say else. Yep. Same thing applies here, mate. Okay. First to marry. Jason Reardon. Definitely. Yeah, he's definitely. definitely the dark horse of the group. Signed, sealed and delivered that one, I think. I think so. Uh, we'll come out of the closet during the season. Chris. Yeah, 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 you're right, actually. Yeah. Don't want to room with on the road, and why? Uh, well, probably you. Oh, wow. Just a little too rowdy for my liking. <laughs> I've changed, mate. <laughs> uh, most annoying? Uh, Steph. Yep, definitely. Who has ADD? Steph. Yep, nice, mate. <laughs> mate, uh, you, you've been around the traps a long time. You've played some, you know, rep basketball for the state. You know, you've played Siebel. Um, any words of wisdom you can give the, uh, the juniors, you know, we, we get them down there in, in bucket loads watching our games, you know, they're great supporters of the clubs and they do look to you guys. Uh, any words of wisdom for them to, to get to where they want to get to? I'd just say to work hard, listen to your coaches and just don't be lazy. When you go out there, just give it all you've got yep. and don't leave anything on the floor. Nice, mate. Are we all getting invited to the wedding? Yes. Damn. Uh, finally, mate, um, this team is very, very sociable, uh, in particular after the games. You know, we, we do hang out, we're a nice tight group. Yes. Uh, you've been missing. <laughs> Any particular reason? Because uh, at the moment I'm living in Melbourne, so it means I'm sort of driving back and forward. So it's more a travel and time thing than anything else. You sure? Yes. Why smiling? <laughs> I know what you're trying to get when you're saying, it's not happening. <laughs> Alright mate, well thanks for joining me Oz. No problem. I appreciate it mate. Cool. Uh, so sorry ladies, he is off the market. Big Chris Elcher, I don't know how to say his last name. <laughs> You'll probably see him on an episode of Hoarders, because he is an absolute pig. We'll be on next week. Cheers. <laughs> <laughs>